Greetings, printing enthusiasts. My name is Vicki Soma, and today's episode, I am wishing you many fails in 2017. To explain a little bit, uh, this coming year, we are going to see phenomenal breakthroughs in the 3D printing community. We're going to see innovation. We're going to see creativity that inspires us. And we're also going to see some spectacular fails. I've had some spectacular fails so far, and I'm expecting that to continue in 2017. Do not be afraid of fails. Embrace them, because this is how we learn. I strongly, strongly, strongly believe that. When we hit those obstacles, when we hit those disasters, it, we learn from it. And we also get a little more creative in our thinking, like, okay, that didn't work. How can I make that work? And to help celebrate that, to help emphasize that, I thought it would be a good day to discuss my maker coin. Dun, dun, dun. Now, to be honest, I was somewhat indifferent to maker coins. I saw them circulating on YouTube channels, and I saw them on Twitter, and it didn't really do much for me until I heard someone speculate about maybe doing maker coin bingo, and then A Pyro Design started their secret maker coin holiday project. And that's when I got interested in it. Um, I was trying to think of ways to represent myself. I was like, ooh, maker mommy, mothering and making. And nothing was really clicking there. And when I stepped back and said, you know what, I'm not going to celebrate myself. I'm going to celebrate the process of learning. I'm going to celebrate failures. And that's when uh, design ideas started to click in my head. I took inspiration from Star Trek. In Star Trek, the Starfleet Academy's motto translates to, from the stars comes knowledge. In 3D printing, we're not necessarily getting our knowledge from the stars, though we may get some inspiration from the International Space Station. So on my maker coin in Latin, around the edge, I put what hopefully translates to, from failure comes knowledge, or learning from failure. Since I wanted to celebrate this specifically with 3D printing, I wanted a failed print on my maker coin. A very identifiable print is the 3D Benji. If you haven't printed it yet, you are probably going to. Um, so what I did in Blender is I took what's called Bezier Curves and I traced out a little Benji and I traced out like the detailings that I wanted to add to it. I converted this curve to what's called a mesh and I switched to edit mode and I started making my faces and I extruded them to the layers that I wanted so the details would stand out. I also wanted to fail on my maker coin. A very identifiable fail is the big old spaghetti mess, which hopefully you won't run into, but you might. I had some questions on Twitter. People were asking how I did do the spaghetti mess. Um, with this, this was also in Blender. Uh, some of it, I did Bezier curves again to make these nice little uh, curved spaghetti mess. Um, I used a bevel object on that Bezier curve to make it a, a cube, so it you know, had some depth to it. It wasn't just a 2D curve. And I also did just some re rectangles, um, cubes, at different various angles. I was taking inspiration here from the Drew Loop technique that you see. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, you see it in the Drew Loop flowers. Uh, you see it in the fuzzy furry vase that's been circulating around. 3D Central did a Christmas tree this year, and that also takes advantage of it. And basically, it's having the printer print over nothing. And so naturally, the extruded filament just starts to loop down. Structured looping wasn't quite what I was looking for. So, you know, I was just making sure that I was printing something over nothing to add some degree of variance to it, to add the opportunity for real life failure. I only tested this on my Maker Gear M2, which is right over here, on a 0.35 millimeter nozzle. This model is up on Thingiverse, and if you have a different printer, if you have a different nozzle, if you pick different temperatures or different uh, layer heights than me, I don't know how it's going to turn out. And I think that's kind of fun. I know of at least three others that have given this Maker Coin a try. Of course, A Pyro Designs had included it in their phenomenal Maker Coin tree. In addition, Jim from another 3D printing channel gave it a whirl, and Matt from How I Do It gave it a whirl.
and I had noticed that their little failure points looked uniquely different than mine. So that's a little bit exciting that maybe like fingerprints, this section will vary from print to print to print. In true fail fashion, I had some fails making this design. So do, 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 it took me uh, three tries before I got one that I thought was tweetable. <laughs> Um, let's talk about these failures real quick and what I learned from them. Uh, here, this first one, I actually was over extruding. I was too close to the bed on the first layer. Now, normally, this is something prints can recover from, you know, because they're pretty high. You'll just do my three solid layers and it gets to infill and the infill, the gaps allow the print to start to stabilize itself. Uh, in this case, I is so thin, so small, it never got a chance to do infill. So pretty much the sins of my first layer just kept going up and up and up, and it was visible on my top layer. The nozzle was brushing against the, the material that was already there. My next fail, I was overcompensating. I actually raised up my first layer height quite a bit, and I did it too much, and as a result, this maker coin did not have a good stick to the bed and it started to curl up and it was very readily visible when I went to switch colors and then like Goldilocks the third time it was just right. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you do print my maker coin, I would love to see it. You can upload it as a make to Thingiverse. Uh, you can tweet me at TGAW on Twitter. You can comment down below here. You can make your own YouTube video <laughs> if you want. Um, just, I would just be thrilled to see it. I hope you have a fantastic 2017. I hope it's full of inspiring projects. I hope it's full of flawless prints that you're proud of. I hope it's full of creations that you are giving to your loved ones. And I hope it's full of learning, which means, I think, I hope there's some fails in there too, some learnable fails.